fixes a date for Atiku Abubakar's hearing over a suit challenging his citizenship. Greetings to all my countrymen and women. Hope we're holding great in our respective locations. To all my subscribers, returning subscribers, and yet to be subscribers, my word of affirmation, when you see broken pieces of humanity, broken systems, broken ways of doing things, don't look away. Like anything, change happens when we decide to show up and say something. Together, we can heal the world. Please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Before and after the 2019 presidential election, the former presidential candidate has encountered numerous challenges. His citizenship has been called into question by several opposing groups. Why he claimed to be a Nigerian? He was unsettlingly identified as a Cameroonian, a country that shares a border with Nigerian. However, a new lawsuit has been launched against Nigeria's former vice president at the Federal High Court in Abuja, with his hearing scheduled for December 6th. One cannot predict the outcome of the hearing until the court affirms and confirms it. Even though many consigned Nigerians, including PDP members, have proved that the suits against the PDP champions citizenship is only a plot to smear its reputation and possibly derail its political ambitions. The issue is currently before the courts and Nigerians are waiting to learn whether the plaintiff claim against Atiku Abubakar is factual or only a fallacy intended to hinder his political future. According to the information gathered via the official Twitter handle of Ninja Pihara, it was reported that the Federal High Court in Abuja has fixed December 6th to hear a suit challenging the citizenship of Atiku Abubakar, former vice president. But please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please click on the notification button down below. I see you even as you do so. May the blessings of God Almighty never cease to overflow in your lives as you all support my channel. Amen. Not like I'm a fan of him, but this is just a mere allegation. He does not hold water. He should stop playing politics with his life. It's expensive. APC government is afraid of the candidate of Atiku. When Atiku was the vice president in Nigeria for the eight years, where was Malami? Does it mean he was yet to finish his law school? If so, he should have used his topic for his project topic to contribute on academy and stop creating national crises. Atiku's citizenship should not be an issue for contention. The problem we're having now is not Atiku's citizenship. There are important things we need to be dealing with in this country and not where Atiku is from. I want to feel this allegation is baseless. Please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please, if this is your first time here, click on the notification button for more updates. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.